All right, guys. You sick little Nazi fuck. <laughs> little Nazi fuck. You are a funny man, clown of the class. When you were a boy, I would guess. Well, the funny ends here. I knew we had to go toe to toe. My father to do. died of electrocution. Such accidents were not unusual at the cold fields of Hua Valley. I remember my uncle telling me that he was standing in water when it happened. Water is a conduit for electricity. And what is in our bodies? That is right. Water. When I press this button. Electricity will flow through your body, carried by this water, and it will cramp up and you will feel the most intense pain you've ever felt in your life. If you do not want to feel this pain, which is completely understandable, you need to answer my question without hesitation. So, who is your contact in the village? Claus. Who is this Claus? Santa Claus. Boy, boy, boy. Oh my god, it's dog. He's giving a serious shock treatment. Why do you insist? Your boys are dying out there on the beaches and the fields. It's pathetic. Like pulling the wings off an insect. Your war is lost. When I break free. I will fry you in this chair till you die. Oh my. Count to four. Count to four. Inhale. Count to four. Exhale. One last time, then I will kill you. Who is your contact? <laughs> Your turn. Oh, me. Killed your fucking dog, Rudy. What? Where'd he go? He escaped. Shoot. And we got. And we got time to. Oh man. Sorry, I couldn't save you, pal. Shoot. I don't have a gun. Kylie, man. It... <sighs> yeah, he, he scared killed your fucking dog, Rudy. Sorry, I couldn't save you, pal. Oh, my. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I killed your fucking dog, Rudy. Sorry, I couldn't save you, buddy. Sorry, I couldn't save you, pal. Wow. All right, guys, welcome back to more Wolfenstein the Old Blood. I didn't get to give a proper intro until now. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Leave a like to help the channel and the series grow. Thank you for the support thus far. As always, 
without further ado, well, we've already gotten into it, so let's just do what it do, shall we? All right, which way we got to go to get out of here? Great, now I gotta sit up here and wander around, figure out which way is out after mowing down all them enemies. Okay, we're going the right way. I wonder where he escaped to. Get a grip, BJ. Carry on with the plan. Grab a cable car to the village. Rendezvous with Kessler in the tavern. There's a rat friend. <laughs> He's always watching. No hill for a stepper, right, Billy boy? No hill for a stepper. Time to escape. I think we're gonna uh, end up running back into the, the second in command dude again. I really do. And we're gonna let him have it after giving us that shock treatment. There ain't no way I can get through this without. I don't have no uh, silence to what's the name? Pistol. In a cable car. Oh, God, there's a big guy in here. Despite how many times I've been dying, but I gotta dispatch everybody then. So be it. There's a big little area. I need to just learn to move around more. Watch this. Look at that. See what I'm talking about? That's so stupid. You can destroy everything else. You can destroy all the humans in here. Close. You can't destroy the alarms. But you got games like Splinter Cell 
and Metal Gear that lets you shoot out the alarms as much as you want. So explain to me how an arcade title is a little bit less realistic than a sim. Well, okay, let me rephrase that. Why is it that you cannot do that in an arcade title? I know why it's less realistic, because it's an arcade title. But how come we can't shoot the alarms out like other games? I understand this ain't Metal Gear and Splinter Cell. Yes, that is, you can argue that factor, but still, it's simple. It's simplistic. Obviously, if this was you and the alarms went off, you would destroy the circuit box or destroy this thing right here. But you can't do it. I'm saying so it is what it is okay here comes the big guy definitely got to destroy this big guy shoot Where is he? Boom shakalaka. And we're out of here. What was that? I know ain't nobody get in the car with me. Couldn't have been. Must have been multiple snipers. There had to have been multiple snipers to get in the dog on thing with me.
Oh, that's what that was. A grenade. Oh, grenades in. Whatever, I shot him, man. That. Look how I shot him and he's still able to throw it. Tell you what, use some automatic weapon like this in real life and you got your arm up, it's gonna get taken off. Not gonna be able to throw nothing. Now I gotta figure this crap out. Pipe to uh, uh huh. I knew it. The streamline. I can't believe he didn't explode from that. Guard's <sighs> back on. Let me guess. I think we got some guests. Some special guests. Come on, give me a break, please. Hurry up and load. Oh, I didn't see that last time. You're about to die. Yeah, I should have rushed down there. Jets at this time? I need to play the new order to see how she's merging time frames. I can't remember if they even had jets back then. I know they had the planes with the Gatling guns on them. And they had the heavy bombers and stuff like that. But jets? I cannot remember if they had jets back then or not. Oh my Jesus in heaven. Dude is insanely lucky. We'll get that before we drown. 